The Ant-Man, a Marvel character created by Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, and Larry Lieberg. Ant-Man first appeared in the comic series Tales to Astonish, number 35, in the year of September 1962. The original Ant-Man was Hank Pym. He created the suit and the Pym particles that have the ability to shrink and grow. In the movies, however, Scott Lang is the Ant-Man. In the comics, Scott Lang is a burglar who is only trying to support his family. Well, he ends up getting arrested for doing these crimes, but when he's later fresh out of prison, he gets hired by Tony Stark to work for him. He actually created the Avengers Mansion security system. Not bad, Scott. Not bad at all. Scott's daughter, Cassie, ends up getting sick and Scott becomes desperate, which ends up having him go back to burglary. And just like in the movie, Scott Lang goes to Hank Pym's home and steals the Ant-Man suit. At this time, Scott searches for a doctor who is able to help Cassie, but Scott finds her to be captured by Darren Cross, who is actually Yellow Jacket in the movie. Scott frees her and she saves Cassie's life. Scott then tries to give the suit back and turn himself in for stealing the suit in the first place. But Hank Pym lets him keep the suit to only use it to stop evil and help people. Thus, Scott is now the Ant-Man. Ant-Man has many abilities and powers. Of course, he can shrink to the size of an ant, or grow really big, as tall as 65 feet. Wow! Wow! Man, I wish I could do that. He can also communicate with other ants and tell them what specific thing to do, thanks to the helmet's telepathic communication system. When Ant-Man shrinks, he has the same strength as his normal size, which makes his punches pack more of a punch. Ha ha! Ha! I already see those dislikes going up. Ant-Man has worked alongside the Avengers numerous times, as well as the Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, and a few others to say the least. He may not have the brightest origin story, but he turned his life around for the better and became a hero. Well, until next time!